Hello, I'm Giselle, and this is Seismix, episode 44. And I think we're ready to talk about love. The L word, the filthy L word, love. How old were you when you first really fell in love? I mean, really fell for somebody romantically. You know, your heart going and you just want to be with them all the time and you light up when you're in their presence. You know, that kind of love. I was 22 and it was a huge mistake. I regret nothing. I was 20, I'm 25 now. Wow. Fell in love for cheers with a beautiful woman. 16? Yeah. I was 14. The drum major of our band had a sexy hat when he conducted like this huge movement of the hand. I fell and I fell and I fell harder and harder. I was 17. I remember her name was Estelle. I fell in love, but it was like the free last day of, of the holidays. Of course, I made a poem. And the poem just ended this way. Trois jours d'un terrestre paradis ont fait de ma vie un enfer. Three days of a earthly paradise made of my life. Hell. I had a doll named Grover when I was six. <sighs> it was a rough breakup. I reckon I was probably 17. That's when it was first broken anyway. My heart, that is. 23 going on 24. I'm still there. I'm still there. I'm still there. 1996, after a trip to Provence, I came back from that trip and I thought there must be more to life than computer games. I was 17, 18, uh -huh. everything you described, man, until she uh, ripped my heart out and stomped on it. I first fell in love with Janice Whittaker. I was six years old. Romantic, we held hands, I wanted to pull her knickers off. I, I didn't know what to do once I got them off, but anyway, it was fun chasing her around and kissing her and, and it took me until I was in my 20s to remember oh my god I really loved her and then I fell in love properly again when I was 17 17 Jane she left me for God and I have to include Vincent Vincent was the boy I fell in love with in um, pre-k or kindergarten Prince Valiant haircut bright red hair and I used to follow him around at nap time with my little mat you know he would lie down I would go lie down next to him he would get up to try to get away from me I would follow him I would always win this little game we don't know if he liked me back but I loved him I also had a crush on animal from the Muppets and Chewbacca I was infatuated with a boy in preschool so it goes back but as far as getting to a point where I feel like what I feel can really be called love and not just a casual or something, 18. I was 18 and my person I fell in love with was 18 years older than me. Yes, now you would think that wouldn't last, but now we've been married for 41 years. We have two sons and I'm glad and I'm still in love with him and I hope he's still in love with me. <laughs> I know he is. And we've had our good times and our bad times, but we've always had each other. I do have the secret. One of you needs to work swing shift. And I think I was 23. When Chris went back to Kansas, there was this intense, undescribable emptiness. Like, I remember calling him on the phone and just being like, God, just make it stop. We got married at an amusement park, barefoot. Are you crying? And I, you and I love you. <laughs> I think I love somebody at 16. I don't really believe in it anymore. I haven't uh, believed for a long time. I mean, obviously with family and, and my children, I love them. I know there are people out there that do, obviously. There, there are people that um, everything just, uh, goes along swimmingly. But I'm um, 16, I think. Now I don't believe in it. I'm beginning to uh, think that way too, Critter. Apart from Chris and Carrie and the big old hamsters. I was 28. It was a combination of being struck by lightning and having this incredibly warm chenille blanket wrapping around you on a really cold, damp day. It was pretty spectacular. I'm gonna marry my sister. That way I could be a daddy and an uncle at the same time. Chris, is that an optical illusion or did you just seriously take your teeth out? <laughs> it's lovely. Maybe I should introduce you to my husband right now. Uh, here he is. Hey Frida, I know why it's lasted 41 years. Check out the tongue on that one. <laughs> It was either sophomore year or junior year in high school. I fell madly in love with this girl. She broke up with me intentionally to see if I would get her back. 
So she asked me a year ago, she says, how come you never came back after me? And I said, because I met Laura, you dumbass. So here's some fabulous head accessories, a lovely little hamster, and some men showing off their pretty impressive moves. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hat for hunting. Well, I don't hunt, but you know. Hat from Africa. A hat to uh, walk in, in the country. Very chic. <laughs> A hat from Peru. Oh, that's beautiful. Bonjour! C'est pour le battery style! Comment ça va? I'm so excited about going to Hamster Camp. I just can't wait. I'm gonna take my herbs. I wonder who I'm gonna meet there. I could meet some really, really cute hamster with some big cheeks. Really big cheeks. I like big cheeks. The masses have demanded it, so I must oblige. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave.